does your child write their numerals back to front this is very common with young children they know their mnemonics and the little rhymes they have lots of practice with concrete materials maybe painting the numeral over and over but when left to do it on their own they write those numerals back to front so in this video, I'll share two tips to help young children write their numerals facing the right direction. And both of these tips are based on research into maximizing memory recall. Hi, I'm Joni Flowers, and I help parents and educators with practical tips to support young children on their learning journey. Now, if children have had lots of practice writing numerals and they know the mnemonics and the picture cues, but they're still reversing some of those numerals, then these tips are for you. Remember, numeral reversals are common among young children. However, if you ever feel your child is taking a little longer than expected to write their numerals the correct way, go and see a professional such as your child's teacher or doctor. Now, before we go on, you might be wondering, why am I saying numerals instead of numbers? Yes, the words numerals and numbers are used interchangeably quite often, but they actually do have different meanings. Numbers are referring to amounts of things and numerals are referring to the actual symbols that represent those amounts of things. Confused? It's kind of like the alphabet. Those letters that we write are actually the symbols that represent a sound. We know how to write the letter T, which is a symbol for the sound T. So when children are writing their numerals back to front, remember they're writing the symbol back to front. It doesn't indicate that they're not understanding numbers. In fact, I've come across many children who have a strong grasp on numbers and yet they reverse their numerals. They are two different skills. I just wanna clarify that. Now for tip number one. And tip number one is help your child to visually discriminate. This is an important skill for children when they're writing numerals and also when they're writing letters. Visual discrimination basically means being able to notice the difference between items. So in this case, we want to help children recognize there is a difference between a numeral when it's written the correct way and when it's written incorrectly. So the first thing to do is to create an opportunity where children will notice that the way they have formed the numeral is back to front when it's compared to a correctly formed numeral. This connects to discovery learning. When we make the discovery ourselves, we are more likely to change our behavior. There comes a time where we as parents and teachers do need to point out an error, but initially let your child take ownership of wanting to change their behavior. So how can we do this? The easiest way to help your child visually discriminate is actually to let them check their work against correctly formed numerals. But first, if your child is reversing a lot of numerals, just start with a couple to focus on initially, such as numbers one to three or perhaps one to five. It's really important to keep children positive about learning. And if they see that they have to correct a whole lot of numerals all at once, they can feel overwhelmed. Okay, so display the numerals correctly. So for this example, we've got numerals one to three. Then your child would come along with their attempt at writing those numerals and they would hold it up against the good copy and look closely to see what the differences are between the correctly formed numerals and the ones that they've written. So here we have some familiar ways that I have seen the numeral two and three being reversed. So what we would do there is then when children can identify that the numeral does not look, their numeral doesn't look like this good copy, they put a little circle around it. Now sometimes before children have learned to visually discriminate well, they might come back and say, 
all of my numerals are around the right way. I can't see there's any difference. So in this case, what I would suggest is you could say, I'd like you to try it again. I can see that one, that one of your numerals is back to front, or in this case, two are back to front. Go away and see if you can work out which one it is. Once children can visually discriminate how their numeral is different from the correct version, they're more likely to be interested in writing it the correct way. You could spend a few moments doing a numeral search, looking for numerals that are written the correct way, in the correct version. You could look at page numbers in books, or you could look on devices for the number two, for example, on the device or on your phone and when you're typing out phone numbers. And you could reiterate with the child there is one correct direction to write this particular numeral. Now coming up next, I'm going to share my second powerful tip for helping children who are reversing numerals. So stay tuned for that. But first, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about teaching young children, I'd love to hear them. Please leave those in the comments below and I'll try to get to answering one of those questions in a future video. Now for tip number two. This powerful tip is based on the memory strategy called the method of loci. This technique helps children associate the formation of a numeral with a familiar location. It is a way to recall memories or in this case recall learning. If you are keen to learn more, look up the memory palace technique. So once your child recognizes all or visually discriminates, that they have been writing their numerals back to front, they are now ready for this activity. Write the numeral that they've been working on or print it off on a piece of paper. Then stick it on a wall in a familiar location. Let's say we're going to stick this number on the lounge room wall. So stand with your child in front of the paper and look closely at how it's formed. Remind them of the picture, the image that goes with this, and then the mnemonic they have learned. For example, I love using a swan image for numeral two. Have a look at it. Which way is the swan facing there? This is the head, and then here's the base floating on the water, and we've got all of the feathers out there at the back of the swan. So which way is this swan facing? When it's on the wall, is it facing out a window? Is it looking at a cupboard? Have a little chat about a fun scenario about this one. Perhaps, can we see that the swan is facing the stereo because it loves to fly to music? Or perhaps you could say, look, the swan is looking out the window because it knows there's a pond outside and it wants to go and paddle in the water. Pick a spot that won't confuse your child because, for example, if you have a window in the middle of the wall, the child could possibly get confused and be wondering, which side did we put that piece of paper? Which side is the swan facing? So we don't want to invalidate this whole activity by popping it in a place that children won't actually be able to remember clearly. So in my lounge room, I have a piano and I put my number two on the wall and say, my swan is facing the piano because she loves to fly to music. Next, stand there with your child and practice writing the numeral in the air. And while you write the numeral, remember to say your mnemonic. Here's mine for numeral two. Up and over the neck and forward and back. Now I've drawn a swan for you. This is how we make it two. Ask them which side did we have to start to form this numeral. For example, help them become conscious that they need to start from the left side if they're writing a numeral two. So after you've practiced writing in the air and saying the mnemonic, have a go at doing that in another room. 
When you're in there, ask your child to visualize that they were standing in their original room, such as the lounge room, and then looking at the wall, how are they going to write their numeral? Get them to close their eyes and visualize it. Ask which way was the numeral facing or which way was the swan facing? Where will I start this numeral? Over here or over here? If they forget, no problem. Just go back into that original room and practice again. Then encourage your child to practice writing that numeral in lots of locations around your house or even outside at the park, at the shops, and, and remind them to visually remember how we would write this numeral if we were back at home in that familiar room looking at that wall. Which way is the numeral facing? Can you imagine it? Can you visualize that in your mind? That is using that method of loci. So remember, the goal here is that children will remember which way the numeral is facing because they can visualize that numeral in a familiar location. So that's it for today. Happy numeral writing. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions about teaching young children, remember to leave those in the comments below. I'll see you next time.